What is happening everyone? Welcome back to G-Ball Vision. Today, we have an exciting video planned for you guys. We are going to be giving the Civivi Chevalier version two a little facelift. Now we have a little unpackaging to just dig into here real quickly. So let's see what we got for this guy. So if you are familiar, which I'm sure a lot of you are, uh, Civivi and CJRB offer titanium aftermarket clips. And I was going to go with a CJRB clip because I do like them better. Uh, they're a little bit, they're a little bit more refined, but they are also a little bit more costly and it is hard to get the uh, it's hard to get the color you wanted. I could have easily gotten like a bead blasted looking one, uh, but I wanted to really stick with the blacked out hardware. So I just ultimately decided to go with the Civivi titanium clip, which they're not bad at all. They're not uh, bad little clips, but the, uh, the CJRB ones are better. Now, I think this this will be a very, very simple swap. These should be, or no wait, that's a 10, I think. Or no wait, are they still using sixes on these? They sure are. So they're still using sixes on the pocket clip. Not that that's a massive deal, but uh, they should have switched to T8s by now, especially on their newer models, but uh, not a huge deal because typically you, you're, you're not gonna either mess with it or if you do, it's only gonna be one time because it should not interfere with disassembly or anything like that. I'm hoping we can just use the screws that were already in this clip, but I'm not 100% sure. Come on out of there. We gotta get... this guy out of here. We're caught between a rock and a hard place. There we go. Holy smokes. And now it's, oh, okay. You guys having fun watching me struggle? Boy, that, this is pissing me off. All right, let's see. See, these milled clips are a little deeper, so I don't know if these will work or not. So let's see. Looks like this; these will work. This should be very simple. Looks like the hardest part will be getting the screw, the old screw. There we go. And I'm telling you guys what, these T6 drivers from Weha, their bits are good too, but th th this T6 driver, guys, is a game changer when it comes to T6. You still have the rotatable palm if you need it, but uh, these just seem to hold up so much better than the bits. I don't know what it is, but that will do it right there, guys. That's the simple mod, and you can pick these up for, I think, like 12 bucks or so. The CJRB ones are like 20 to 25, and they are better. Uh, they look better. They are, there's a little bit more to them. I don't have one close by, but I'll snag one just because it's you guys. So they're a little bit more substantial. They, they just look a little better and they do have a bunch of different colors, but the only ones easily accessible 
through Amazon that you can get really quickly are these ones here. Uh, and although that would have looked good, it doesn't quite match the handle, which I knew because I have a couple. Uh, and I knew that this would match the hardware perfectly. They do have a DLC black one. And someday, maybe I will get one and move it to this because this knife, guys, has become a big favorite for me. Uh, this is so well done, so well refined uh, from the V1, which I have the V1. And this thing just smokes that, uh, like I said in the unboxing, it, it just smokes that V1 out of the water. Uh, the V1's good, but this is just way, way better. Uh, and then that milled clip just is a game changer. It's cleaner. It's slimmer. Now, it won't be as deep in the pocket, but that's... That really don't matter to me. Uh, this is going to be more of a aesthetic deal. This is going to be a gent carry for me, you know, like a classy carry. Uh, I'm not going to be putting this through hard use or anything like that. Uh, not that it couldn't handle some, uh, because that lock is solid as a rock. Uh, tested it uh, several different times, different ways, lightly hard all that stuff and all kinds of different spots and they are definitely starting to nail the plunge locks that they're doing over there overseas they are really stepping up their game when it comes to button locks you can just tell from about a year ago even six months ago uh they've just gotten way way better than they ever have been before stronger springs better tolerances uh, and that equates to a more solid lockup and ends up equating to a more pleasing opening method you know with this fuller you can reverse flick off this guy they notch this perfectly in here so you can thumb flick it out off that fuller and then the rear flipper tab is straight money on this guy we'll do a full overview of this guy here very very soon i just wanted to get this one done quickly and show you guys you know that you can pick up a, a milled clip for a very good cost 10 or 12 bucks for a milled tie clip uh is not a bad deal at all uh, if you're looking for something a little more aesthetic, go to CJRB's main website. Unless you want this finish, you can get these on Amazon, get them in like two days. But on CJRB's home website, they have five or six different colors that you could go with. So if you need a specific color or you don't mind waiting, uh, that's where I would go. And eventually, once I order something off their website, I'll probably pick up one because it is the same exact uh, pattern and tooling for the clips. So that's nice that you can kind of move things around. But this uh, milled clip is going to complete this knife, in my opinion. There's nothing else to do to this. The handle looks great. Uh, the hardware is all nice and DLC'd. Wish they would have blacked out the C completely there on the pivot, but not a huge deal. Uh, it's clean. It looks good. It's been like, you know, they've done that forever. I'm just glad they don't have anything on the show side of the blade. Uh, just a clean, clean looking knife all the way around. And that blade has like a black wash type finish to it. So it's going to take use very good or any use that you would put on it very good. Uh, and anyone else I've talked to about the V2 Chevaliers have also concurred exactly what I'm saying. They are just so well refined over the version 1s or any of the previous other button locks. The only one that might be somewhat close is, uh, I forget the name of it, but... 
their more higher end. It came in K110. I can't think of the name of it, but that one is probably close to this or on the same playing field as this one. But guys, even if you have a V1 Chevalier, sell that and get this one or just get this one. Uh, this one is probably, I think this is probably the best button lock that I've gotten from Civivi and I've had every single one of them. Uh, that I know of and this one is definitely the top top dog now and it's the most aesthetically pleasing one as well let me know what you think down in the comments guys I love hearing from y'all don't forget to hit that thumbs up button and if you're new to the channel or you've been here before and you're still not subscribed hit that subscribe button down below the video. I would love to have you here. Otherwise, guys, I'll throw up a couple new videos. Go check one of them out, and I will catch you on the next one.